Goku may have been the first guy to unlock Ultra Instinct, but he and Whis have a very different dynamic. In fact, the only time Whis has shown any sign of ever getting mad was when Goku was constantly bugging him to bring him back to Beerus' homeworld to train. Goku was obsessed with it. He wouldn't leave Whis alone. Goku, your complete inability to sit still is a most troubling sign. If this is how you'll be training, I don't believe I can teach you. There was no necessity for Whis to train Goku, unlike Vegeta. He already rejected becoming the next god of destruction himself, so anything outside of that, Whis doesn't really have an interest in. So, why did Whis train Goku, aside from more food, which is basically just a gag, what purpose does Whis have of training someone who he knows for sure will not be interested in becoming a god of destruction? In most cases, the angelic law prevents a mortal from being trained under or assisted by angels. Like we saw with Mirus, who got in big trouble for training Goku in the latest arc of the manga, an angel that decides to help a mortal for whatever reason is at risk of death. Helping out a mortal in any way who isn't planning on becoming the next god of destruction can get you in trouble with the Grand Priest, if he ever finds out. And that's how Whis somewhat gets away with training Goku. The reason Whis gets away with training both Goku and Vegeta, rewinding time and assisting them so much, is because he is doing so under the belief that they are both candidates to become the next god of destruction. Whis already knows that Goku isn't interested in becoming a destroyer, but the only reason he is there is actually for Vegeta. Whis's main student isn't Goku, for once, someone sees something more in Vegeta, and that's why he started 6 months earlier. Whis had Goku begging him to train, and after 6 months Whis finally said yes, but he also said to Goku, the way you're bugging me so much about this training could be a huge problem when it actually comes to training. I may not even take you at all. That's what Whis says to Goku, so basically, the reason Whis is even training Goku at all is because he's the main character, but narratively, Goku is a catalyst to get the best out of Vegeta. To have Goku alongside Vegeta pushing him every step of the way, Vegeta would improve a lot faster, and throughout all of Dragon Ball Super, that's what's happened. Although Goku was one of the first to unlock Ultra Instinct, Whis treats him more as an eventual rival to Beerus than anything else. It's especially interesting now that Mirus came in, when you look at it, why was Goku allowed to train with Whis, but not Mirus? If angels normally can't come in contact with mortals, and Goku's already said no to become the next god of destruction, the only reason he is there is to push Vegeta, and it makes you think, if it wasn't for Ultra Instinct, maybe Dragon Ball Super is more of a story about Vegeta. Something to think about. Along with not being Whis's main focus, Goku also learned a lot more in just a few months from Mirus about Ultra Instinct than he ever did with Whis. Mirus explained Ultra Instinct to Goku in a very simple way. Their training is cut short, but for all we know, he could be able to tap into it in the newest chapter of the manga. This is all because Whis never went all out training Goku. He was completely fine with just leaving him on Earth and just going with Vegeta. This is how Whis really sees Goku. He was never his main student, and so when you have Vegeta jumping by leaps and bounds on his own, the need Whis has for Goku to be there will almost be gone. The moment Goku started training with another angel in Mirus could have unofficially sealed it. Goku may never train with Whis again, and it sounds a lot more dramatic than it really is, but looking at how everything has played out, Goku is already onto the next. The theme going around the latest arc is the separation between Goku and Vegeta, how they are training in different ways and getting more powerful separately. After Goku trains with Mirus and looking back on everything, realistically, I can't see Goku training with Whis ever again, and that might be a surprise, but if you look at everything, Goku doesn't want to be the next god of destruction. Vegeta has proven that he can get stronger without him on Yardrat. Anyway, that's how I see it going forward. Let me know what you think. Whis has been around since the beginning, but after Goku moved on to Mirus, who was arguably better anyway, I can't see Goku going back, especially when he's Whis's number two student after Vegeta. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.